Hey guys and welcome to a latest short and good video on how to automatically restart LiveScore in case of an application crash. LiveScore offers different features that can be executed by using so-called terminal commands. These commands can either be executed directly in a terminal or added to a batch file. And this is what we have in here. So I've manually created a BAT file and just placed it in the installation directory. And that file is basically very easy to understand, even though it might seem a bit difficult at first. Our first line, just make sure to turn off any disturbing output. The second line marks our starting point that we need later on after our application crash. Now the most important line is obviously starting LiveScore itself. This can be done by providing the full path to LiveScore, followed by a few optional commands that we can use. There is a documentation on all available commands on the LiveScore website. So what we do here is we tell LiveScore to immediately start baseball and also immediately start by using the blue start button. And that blue start button on the other hand allows us to have incoming iOS remote control connections and also starts probably and the i broadcasters or whatever we have set up in LiveScore. The last two lines are being executed as soon as LiveScore is being quit, so probably due to an application crash or maybe on purpose. So our batch file will wait for 5 seconds until it goes back to the starting point where it just actually starts LiveScore exactly like it did the first time. Now let me show you, I just double click on the batch file. Then it starts the terminal, which then starts LiveScore in baseball and also presses the blue start button, which is now red, so it means it's active. Okay, now what happens if LiveScore crashes? So we just quit LiveScore and then it waits for 5 seconds until it does the exact same thing. It starts LiveScore in baseball. And due to the built-in application crash backup system, LiveScore has the exact same data just before it crashed. And if you really want to close LiveScore, just close it and also the terminal window. Alright, that's it on how to automatically restart LiveScore in case of application crashes. Thank you for watching, have fun using LiveScore.